Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Before we begin, uh, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel. So we will be solving this problem shown on the screen, and this is an equilibrium problem. So what we have here is we have this ship unloading um, this car here, and this car weighs 3,500 pounds and is supported by this cable from A to B. A rope is tied to the cable at point A and is pulled over to the center of the automobile over which it's intended position. The angle between the cable and the vertical is two degrees. And while the angle between the rope and the horizontal is 30 degrees, what is the tension in the rope? So what we are looking for right here is we are looking for the tension in this and also in this problem, just because it's asking for the tension in the rope, we're also going to find the tension in the cable as well, just to show you how to do the entire process, not just finding the rope. Um, so first off, uh, just thinking about this um, and looking at the picture here, we would expect, since this car weighs 3,500 pounds, we would expect that this cable is experiencing most of that force while the rope being pulled over here should not be that much because this person can't really supply a regular person can't really supply 3,500 pounds of force or anywhere near that. So with any equilibrium problem, um, you always want to start with a free body diagram, unless you can visually see what's going on right away. And the more advanced you get, less likely that you're going to draw your free body diagram. So the free body diagram will just make a simplistic view of this problem. And we're going to use point A as the center of our origin here just because that's where everything in this problem connects in, connects in at point A. So I have my X and my Y axis. So now I'm going to put on my known and unknown forces. Well, we're told that the car weighs 3,500 pounds. And we know that that's in the down direction, 100% vertical because it's free floating in the air. And that's the way gravity works. Um, this person is pulling. This person is pulling in this downward right direction on that rope. I'm going to call this force AC, or we can just call this the rope force. Either way is fine. We'll probably just stick with the, the rope force here. So let me just get rid of that. Actually, just move it over a bit. There we go. And then we have this cable force from A to B, which I'm just going to call cable force C. It doesn't really matter which way you uh, label stuff. Usually the more simplistic labeling, the better. It makes it a little bit easier. Um, we have this angle right here between the vertical and this force at two degrees. Well, since it's off of the vertical two degrees, our y-axis is vertical. So this is also two degrees over here. And then our rope is at 30 degrees off the horizontal. So there is our completed free body diagram. Um, we have our known force of 3,500 pounds, our unknown of our rope, and our cable forces. And as I said, even though the problem is asking for what is the tension in the rope, we're going to go ahead and just find the cable forces to show you how to complete this problem entirely. So whenever you get your free body diagram done and you don't really know what the next step is, in equilibrium problems, you're always going to have to sum forces in the directional in the directions, either x, y in this direction because we're 2D. And it doesn't really matter which one you start for uh, first. Um, typically, there's usually one better than the other, but most cases not really. It just really depends on which way you want to start. If you start with the wrong summation um, equation, just go to the other one. It's okay. So with this one, just to show you, um, I'm going to start with the Y. So I'm only going to consider vertical forces in this Y equation. I'm going to take everything in the upward direction. I'm going to consider it as a positive force. Everything in the downward direction will be considered a negative force. So I'm going to start with my cable force up here. So cable force and to uh, get that to my Y and to my vertical direction, I need to use cosine of this angle <clears throat> because the angle is off of the Y. Cosine is used when your angle is adjacent to the direction you're looking at or touching the direction in which you're looking at. The two is touching the Y, so I'm going to use cosine. 
I know that this will be a positive C cosine of two because this uh, cable direction is up and to the left because it is pulling backwards in this direction. And since it's going up and to the left, its component will be going upward. And then I'm going to put in the rope. So I have R. And this one is going to be sine of 30. So sine of this angle here. Because the Y is over here, the angle is off of the X. And sine is always used in the opposite. So the angle is opposite the Y since it's on the X. And this rope is going down and to the right. So I know its component in the vertical direction will be going down. And that will be minus based upon my nomenclature here. And then lastly, we have minus the 3,500 because it's pointed in the downward direction. And it doesn't need a sine or cosine because it's 100% in the Y. So looking at this Y equation, can't really solve anything here because we have two unknowns of our cable force and our rope force. So anytime you get stuck with these types of uh, issues, just go to your next equilibrium equation and you might be able to solve for something there. So our next equilibrium equation is the X direction. So everything in the horizontal direction has to cancel and be in equilibrium, meaning everything has to uh, tally up to be zero. So I'm gonna take everything in the X direction as positive, everything, uh, or everything to the right as positive in the X direction, everything to the left would be negative. So once again, let's just start with our cable force here, C. And since it was off of the Y axis and it's cosine with the Y, now it's going to be sine with the X because the angle is opposite. Sine is always considered to be the opposite. So it's going to be sine of two degrees. And this cable force is going up and to the left. So its component will be going leftward. And that is negative based upon my sine convention. And then looking at my rope, this one is going to be cosine of 30 because the angle is off of the X and I'm looking at the X direction and cosine is adjacent. So that'd be cosine of 30. This force is going down and to the right. So its component will be going to the right and that is positive. The 3,500 is solely in the Y so we don't include it in the X axis. So that's really all that we have in the X direction. Now that I have these equilibrium equations, I really don't need the free body diagram anymore. And looking at the X uh, equation, once again, two unknowns of C and R can't solve for them directly just with that single equation. But we do have two equations and two unknowns, and we can solve that by using substitution, simultaneous equations, or matrices. So in this particular problem, I'm going to solve it by substitution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange one of these equations and have one of my unknowns in terms of the other unknown. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the X summation equation here. And I'm just going to take the C sine of 2 to the other side of the equation so it's positive. So I have R cosine of 30 is equal to C sine of 2. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cosine of 30 and divide everything through by it. So I will just have R, which is my rope force, is equal to C sine of 2 divided by cosine of 30. And this gives me, which I take the sine of 2 divided by the cosine of 30, and that gives me 0 0.04 times my cable force. So you can see that R is 4% of the cable force, so it's going to be very small as predicted. So what do I do with this? Well, what I'm going to do is I am going to take this value of 0.04c and I'm going to plug it into my y equation up here for r because that's what r equals. r equals 4% of c. So when I plug into my y equation up here, I will have c cosine of 2 minus 0.04c times the sine of 30 minus 3,500. So every unknown in that y equation will just be my cable force. So let me scroll a little bit here. So plugging into my Y summation equation, I have C cosine of two 
minus r, which r is 0 0.04c sine of 30 minus 3500 equal to zero. So what I can do is I can combine terms. So cosine of two minus 0 0.04 times the sine of 30 for C. That becomes 0 0.979 C. And then if I take the 3,500 to the other side of the equation, it's a positive 3,500. So this 9.79 is cosine of two minus 4% of sine of 30. So I can easily solve for my cable force here which is 3,500 divided by 0 0.979. And that gives me 3,575 pounds of force in that upward left direction. So there's the cable force. And what the problem was really asking for was the rope force. But as I said, we can solve for both of the cable and the rope here, just to show you and give you practice here. So what I can do is I can take this cable force of 3,500 And I can plug it into this portion right here and get my rope force because the rope is 4% of that. So the force in the rope is going to be 0 0.04 times 3575. And that gives me 143 pounds in that downward right direction. So as I said, you would expect that the rope force to be much smaller than the cable force and the car force because that person more than likely can't pull with thousands of pounds of force. So with all equilibrium problems, you can always double check your answers um, just to make sure that you have the correct answers or you're in the right ballpark. So what you can do is that you can take this rope force of 143 and this cable force of 3575 and just plug back into your summation equations to make sure that they equal out to be zero. If they're not zero, if they're way off from zero, that means that you've done something wrong somewhere, some calculations are incorrect, or you just have the wrong equilibrium equations to start with. So this is always a good check once you get answers, just to make sure that your answers are in a relative ballpark of being correct. So starting with, um, I guess I went with the Y here, the y equation. So uh, your cable force of 3575 times the cosine of 2. And then it's going to be minus the r force, which is 143 sine of 30. And that's going to be minus 3500. And that gives us 1.3. So, so it's not exactly zero. And it will rarely ever be exactly zero just because of the rounding and the calculations, as you can see right here. I took cosine of two and then 4% of cosine of 30 and rounded it to 979. And when you're dealing with such large numbers at 3575 and 3500, that n value right there needs to be a very small percentage of those larger values, which 1.3 of 3500 or 3575 is very small. So in total, I would say that that is close enough to zero just because of the rounding differences. So those are the correct answers then. Now, if that answer came out to be like a hundred something, well, that's, that's pretty high there. That's a large percentage of being off. So something definitely went wrong. So anytime you get within a, a very small percentage of what the answers or what the forces were, it's just off due to rounding. And this is okay. So that's how you solve this problem. Those are the answers shown. Um, I hope this was helpful. And if you have, if you want to see uh, more problems solved in this variety, please check out other videos on our channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.